2022 is upon us, and with that in mind, how do you stay motivated in the new year? While most Americans make New Year's resolutions, around 80% of them fail most by February. Yeah, one month is how far we wow. make it. All right, so whether you've started you know, your resolution a couple of days ago, you're still trying to figure out what you want to do, we are going to share some top ways to make your changes stick. And to help us do that, we welcome motivational speaker, author, and our longtime friend, Rich Bracken. Rich, Happy New Year. Hey, buddy. Happy New Year, Kim and Nick, and I appreciate the Donny Cash shout out. There's a really good reason for this because today this is an award show, and we're putting resolutions in the in memoriam section. We're putting them behind us, and we're going to talk about how we can be award winners moving into 2022. Yes, this is a dancing trophy. Another story for another time. But you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can't wait to get to that one. Um, okay, so why is it that New Year's resolutions are just so hard to keep? Why can't we sustain them? Sure, we get into January 1 with all of this energy. Everybody's really excited to make change. It's a new calendar year, but what we have not done is we've not addressed the reasons why we got into the situations of the things that we want to change. So for instance, if you want to lose weight, which is a great goal and I support you in that 100%, maybe there are some lifestyle changes, maybe there's some decisions, maybe there's some mental or emotional things that you need to address first before you start addressing the weight loss goal because you got into that situation for a reason and we don't necessarily look at those reasons first before we start making the change. Again, I applaud the goal, but start thinking about why you got to that point first. Mm -hmm. Deal with those while you're also dealing with the weight loss. Cookies. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, Rich, according to the fact that you know most resolutions fail by February indicates kind of a momentum problem, I guess. What would you say to those who burn out two months in? Sure. Again, like the statistic you talked about, most of these resolutions fail by, by February because we go in with a lot of ambition. We go in with a lot of enthusiasm. But what we don't do is we don't give ourselves grace that this is going to take time. Any big change or small change, for a matter, as a matter of fact, is hard. It's going to take time. And we don't give ourselves the grace to make the mistakes along the way. You're not going to wake up January 1 being perfectly healthy or have that brand new job or have that brand new change in your life. You've got to put in the time. And we also look at big goals. We look at a 50 pound weight loss. Instead of doing that, instead of looking at a large number, start thinking, hey, I want to lose a pound a week. And those little increments will actually keep you more motivated moving forward. It's a little less stress on the mental aspect of trying to lose weight or trying to change anything. Take it little steps at a time and celebrate those little goals as you go along. And if you do fail or fall off the wagon or, you know, whatever, get back on. Yes, absolutely. And again, with those little goals, if you fall off a one pound goal, it's a lot easier to get back on the right track. But if you think, oh, I, you know, I, I had a little extra cheese or a little extra dessert or a little extra wine, guilty. But it's really easy to get back on the horse or get back on track when you're looking at small goals rather than saying, well, there goes my resolution. I'm not going to lose the weight now because I had a little bit of a wine and cheese bender in February. So <laughs> I guess I can just you know, cancel this. I'll look forward to 2023. Hey, Rich, uh, you're talented enough to combine our last two uh, uh, items here. Other people influencing you and getting yourself out of your own way. Those are two what I would think would kind of mess up your... Uh, New Year's resolutions. A hundred percent, Nick. And, and yeah, they, they, and they do go hand in hand as well. A lot of the times we worry too much about what other people are going to think about our change. We worry about pleasing other people when in actuality the change needs to be from us for us. And so we get in our own way because we don't think that we deserve it or somebody else tells us that we've changed. You know, you're different. You've changed now. It's good for you. If you're making that change, if you're making that decision, you're doing what's right for you. So forget what everybody else is thinking. Do what's right for you, but also understand that you deserve the change. You deserve the success and you deserve the happiness. And you deserve the award you had in your hand earlier. Congratulations <laughs> to me for combining the last two. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. We hope to see you again next month. Great to see you all. Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Happy New Year to you. Our man in black.